Well, hello everybody, to all of you TV bot users. Uh, today I'm going to show you something that I found uh, from an underground developer uh, group. First, I will go to my app section and make sure that I have the MX Movie Player Pro installed from my final link. So the first thing is to make sure I already have the MX installed. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you how to uninstall an app. We all know this already, but let's go over it. Clear the data and then uninstall. Okay. After I've done that, I'm going to go to show you how to reinstall an application. I'm going to go to my file link. We all know the code and click OK for continuing and then dismiss and MX Pro Player, I'm clicking on it install in MX click install and I have MX Pro I'm done with it now actually what I'm going to do instead of installing from this uh, store I'm just going to click back, enter new code, click yes and I'm gonna go to the code on it. Erase the code. You got the code. We know the code. It's 8581 We don't have to be afraid to lose it. And I'm gonna punch in a new code. It will be 3300. And then 9368. So it's 33009368. Click continue. And I don't know how much, uh, if you've been with us for a while, but there were really two good uh, apps in the past. One of them was Morpheus TV, the other one was Terrarium. This underground team has actually forked them, meaning they created, the, uh, they started building up from the base on those apps. So one of them is Titanium. That's actually a folk, a new version of Terrarium actually. And when it's installing it, all you need to do is to click. Regular installation, like any other app, only from a different source, different store, basically. <coughs> Done. I'm not going to install Morpheus because I don't need it. Uh, titanium is something very impressive, so I want you guys to see it. And coming out, Titanium TV. And now I'm going to show you something about it. Click, OK. I'm going to choose default player as MX, accept. And here it is. It works exactly like the old Terrarium, meaning we have, if you're following the cursor, uh, I'm showing you where I am. I can refine the general library. I can choose the menu right there on the left. I can search and I can do multiple functions, uh, movies. And now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to set it up to be my default player uh, in the MX. And it has a specific uh, fill to the app on the right you can see the play button you click on it this is just those first runs it's scraping meaning it's searching for results and in a moment you'll see that this just like our apps that we are using they're very up to date this one is is also up to date but the scraper is like something out of the ordinary it finds Blu-rays and 1080p's and HD's and all that goodness. So guys, all you need to do is to go to it, install, and enjoy the latest of any app. So click play and of course allow MX to play in the background because I'm using it as a default. It's a very good player. It prevents a lot of buffering as well. And we can make MX work in the background basically for any app. Usually we use just the default. 
there's no ads on this app, so it's very good that way. And <clears throat> let me just choose a link that I like here. Those links are <clears throat> a bit heavy for my internet. Click, click. <clears throat> Tells you it will start in a second. And here it is. <clears throat> I'm playing, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I chose, yeah, Spider-Man. It's that kind of a cartoon. But we can play like this, everything. And this is what I want you guys to experience. Just a lot of fun with different apps. Enjoy your day.